Well, something different for today. Let's do AI person detection to activate a snow machine, bubble machine, or anything else you could imagine. Bill Porter has presented on using artificial intelligence human detection with security cameras to activate a snow machine. He used Blue Iris and then Home Assistant, which then Home Assistant activated the snow machine. But what if we don't have Blue Iris and we don't have Home Assistant? Well, let's try something else. For this, I'm going to use another IP security camera, which has the human detection built in. But importantly, this camera has a relay built in, and there's wires on the fly leads that we can use. So this particular security camera is Dahua Technology brand. There are many other brands that also have input outputs, such as Access Communications, they have external I.O. modules, plenty of other brands. On this camera's lead, we have the network jack, which also supports power over Ethernet, a separate 12 volt connector, audio in, audio out, and this little lead right here is the one we're after. This has relay on it, and also an alarm input signal. This we can activate the relay with, based upon a human being detected, a vehicle being detected, or whatever else we want. It's important to note that not all cameras have the alarm input connectors that we need for this project. However, some camera recorder units, like the one I use, has screw terminals at the back for a relay output as well. You could use those instead. However, with the camera having it built in, it means all you need is literally just the camera. And these can save to their own built-in SD card slots. So how does the relay output on this camera work? Well, it's just two wires here, and they effectively just connect to each other internally in the camera. In this example, I am going to be activating a bubble machine when the camera detects a person. And my bubble machine uses 230 volts AC, which is the voltage in New Zealand. These cameras cannot switch mains voltage directly. They have a mixer rating as specified in the user manual. So to safely switch 230 volts, I have this Trickle Star PC saver, which is literally an extension cord with a relay in the middle. These things were designed to turn off peripherals on your computer when your PC powered off and wasn't providing power at the USB port. So if I apply 5 volts here, the relay internally will click on, and then we'll have power output at the end of this extension cord. So let's get this wired onto the camera. Effectively all I need to activate this relay is just take 5 volts DC, we'll have our plus and minus, and we just need to connect it to the relay. Just like that, this relay would power on. But instead we're not going to connect the power supply directly to that because it's just going to be on constantly. What I'm instead going to do is have the relay, let's draw the relay over here. There's plus and minus the relay. And I'm going to connect a 5 volt power supply in the middle of this. I'm going to draw a negative terminal and positive terminal of this power supply. So I'm going to connect the negative of the high power relay to the negative of this 5 volt DC power supply. And the 5 volt output positive, I'm going to connect to the relay side of the camera. And then I'm going to connect the other end of this to the 5 volt input on the relay, the positive. Effectively now, positive is not linked directly between the relay and the power supply. Instead, it is switched by the other relay inside the camera. Now this relay over here can happily switch a 230 volt AC. So I've plugged the camera in, this is with Ethernet cable, now this is using power over Ethernet technology, so effectively it sends 48 volts DC to power the camera over the same network cable. It's quite handy if your cameras and other devices like this. I'm going to wait for this camera to boot up, and then I'm going to log into its interface and start changing some settings on it.
Now log into the camera, I'll go into Artificial Intelligence and enable IVS. This may be called something else in other software. I will add a rule. Tripwire is crossing a line, intrusion is entering a box. So I've chosen Tripwire here. I'll deselect a motor vehicle, set the time for full time. We'll get rid of that snapshot there. You could set this to record and that would record to the local SD card. But for now, I'm just wanting to enable the alarm out port. This is the relay output on the camera. And we'll set the default 10 seconds. Next, with the AI rule enabled, we're going to click and draw the line cross rule on the screen. This is set for A and B, the direction. You can change if the person can go both ways or just one direction. I'll leave it on both. There's also a minimum and maximum size just in case you're having issues. Now with the AI rule enabled, if a person crosses this line, it will trigger the camera. Okay, let's show the setup. We have the camera down here. I'm connecting the camera to a 12 volt power supply right now and it's not actually connected to anything to record it. Here we have the 5 volt power supply, the camera's relay output, and wires going to this 5 volt relay which activates 230 volts. The 12 volt and 5 volt power supplies are connected up here to this multi-board, as well as the 230 volt relay in the middle of the extension cord is connected to this power board as well. Then what we would do is we would turn the bubble machines power switch on and now all we need to do is walk past that virtual line we drew and see if the bubble machine turns on. I'm going to walk past now. And if you keep walking back and forth I won't stop. So just like that, we have made our artificial intelligence human detection to turn on a bubble machine for us. If you have any questions of how I've done this, please leave them in the comments below on this video. There's also a write-up linked in the description to Oz Christmas Lighting Forums. And thank you for watching.